What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of Bubbles and Boats. My name is Roan and if you're joining us for the first time, welcome and thank you for coming in to have a look at our channel. Today we are on our secret little spot over here which we have just discovered and it is absolutely amazing for macro. The only problem is, is that it is in a harbour and there is tons of trash. So for today we're going to have a look at a little bit of trash to treasure. Our oceans cover 71% of the planet, yet only 5% of it has been explored. Join us to discover the hidden secrets of the underwater world as we go beyond the shore. For today's dive, we're going to explore the little harbour just behind us over here. You can see all the boats in the harbour behind us. And we're going to show you some of the pitfalls of the harbour area, which is going to be the trash. But we're also going to show you some of the beauty that can be found within all the rubbish over there. So come join us as we go beyond the shore. Our oceans are the lifeline for humanity, providing us with 50 to 80% of all the oxygen we breathe, covering 71% of the Earth's surface, with 80% having been unmapped and unexplored. We have sent 12 people to the surface of the moon, yet only three people have ever descended to the deepest part of the ocean in the Marianas Trench. And each year we discover on average 2,000 new animal species in the ocean. On the same planet, we produce 78 million tons of plastic a year, with the world's total plastic production at an estimated 7.8 billion tons. Of this, approximately 64 million tons will end up in our oceans each year. This area beneath a small craft harbour gives us a sobering reminder that it is estimated by the year 2050 there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. As we descend to the depth of 19 meters, something stands out from the rubbish burdened sea floor. Defiantly against the odds, green, lonely in the salty depths, a plant, on it, life. Getting in closer, we see a world of colour fighting to keep going in the sea of chaos. Nudibranx, a member of the sea slug family, some only a few millimetres in size and barely visible to the naked eye, and others as big as your hand. Large concrete blocks lining the sea floor to provide mooring points for boats are now home to the exposed bronchi and magnificent rhinophore of this nudibranch. A decomposing rice sack provides a sheltered hideout for this ornate ghost pipefish and its shrimp friends. Keeping a close eye on the fine silty bottom, we see the squat shrimp hard at work cleaning an anemone to keep the delicate balance in check. A tiny juvenile moray eel catching a quick snack. This blenny defending its light bulb, which it now calls home. While this carelessly discarded can is now the new hunting ground for this anemone. As the oceans fill with plastic, this hermit crab and its symbiotic friends will patiently wait for us to reduce the impact of our lives on theirs, in hope that the ocean will continue to be a home for sea life and not the remains of our life. Welcome back everybody, we hope you enjoyed that wonderful dive that we did. I suppose we should have just called this episode Nudibranchs because there were so many on that site over there, they are absolutely everywhere. But the sad thing is to see them in amongst all the rubbish. We know it's a harbour and we know there are a lot of boats in and out over there, but this really is a good time to remind everyone 
that trash does not belong in the ocean. Please clean up after yourself, look after yourself. And remember, if you like this video, give it a nice big thumbs up. Drop a comment below if you've dived in areas like this with a lot of rubbish, but really beautiful wildlife underneath the ocean. And remember, if you wanna see more adventures like this, hit the subscribe button and come be my dive buddy.